Hey, hey, hope you guys are doing well. Let's play some more Four Roams. Yeah, let's go. Mm -hmm. I'm finally taking off a little bit. I'm going to try to catch up to you guys. I'm in seventh place now. Yeah. I'm going to declare in GB as soon as my truce is up. Oh, that, that'll make sure he doesn't catch back up to me. Thank you. I love the excellent Francis minister. Gilly, Provence. Like you would if you were France. Like you do. I was surprised that uh, the Satanian allied France and Great Britain, considering that he had strategic interest in both of them. Yeah, I, I think, think it was more of a... Trading one yeah, big, he didn't want to get works. gobbled up. Yeah. It was a coalition fighter, is what it was. Yeah, because he took uh, Castile in like three wars, I think it was. It was insane. And Aragon in two. It was crazy. Yeah, it was... You could tell he practiced that like four times. Like It was amazing. It was well done. Yeah, I'm glad I got the inheritance the, of Portugal yeah. that I did. <laughs> All the hard part is done for me. Now I just have to focus on the small the small micro. Yeah, yep. now you're just blobbing. Uh, literally, at this point, you could become the Western Roman Empire or the Roman Empire as long if you just took London and Paris and Rome. That's all you got to do. Yeah, I think I might just reconquest all of Scotland and then take it London for myself. Nice. That's it. Poland is no longer valid. Poland has, uh, has a very, very sad boy. Poland is no longer strong. Poland will I not. Went, and I just went up to sixth rank. Because the Mamluks died. Poland can no longer into space. <laughs> Poland has its like 1444 borders exactly right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. And no, my except okay. for Krakow. Okay, like, you're going to attack him, right? Here, I've made five claims. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I'm like, yes. And I will give you those claims. Yo, Quag, you want to. Oh, crap. I need more money. I'm broke. I have the ability to give you 800 ducats. Thank you. I, uh... Not quite as nice as you were before, but I moved down to 100 now. No, it's okay, brother. No stress. I am going to take whatever I can here. I'm not going to have enough admin to core it, so I'm just going to kind of wait. Oh! This is so bad. If I take 100%, I loot, I'm at, like, 450 admin in the hole. Or, like, 150 in the hole from what I have right now. Uh, you need to make a subject, dude. I could release like Ostracon? an Ostracon. Yeah. Or, um, who's this? That's Ostracon. Again. I mean, I'll be able, if I just wait like a year, I can actually core it myself. Nice. Which is probably what I lean more towards. All right. I accomplished my goal in this war. I went and cleaned up, uh, Bergen's. Actually, no, I like your like well, I like your thinking. I'm gonna take Ostracon for sure. I have claims on like all of it, so Ugh, that feeling when you uh don't get a seventy one percent siege. Yes, I had one earlier. It was a disease outbreak. Beautiful. Uh, Good times. Yes, I nearly cried. I <laughs> took my capital while I was trying to siege down a level one fort with all kinds of cannons and siege pips and got a seventy one in a disease outbreak. Nearly cut on the spot. Hey, you guys like that? Some border gore only. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Wait, little, what? Little skin Ostracon tag or something. Ostracon is subject, and he kind of broke over there and left random <clears throat> things. I don't like it. Also, Byzantium <laughs> has come across We're touching tips the now. wasteland. I thought the wasteland was going to be you guys' border. Well, yeah, I thought we were going to sort it out afterwards. I don't know. I'm just I like, mean, I'm, I'm a full I, annex because he's, he's, you know. Take elimination. Partially on my side, partially on his side, so. I, if I were you, I'd go after Great Horde right now and go take the, a little bit more and then you can take Gossamuck. I was about to think of it. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Sure, oh, he's I thinking mean, about how he's going to kill me in the next yeah. seven years. <laughs> he's like, should I guarantee uh, them or not? He's, he's going back and forth. Or he's not talking. Mike's muted or something. No, I'm not muted. I'm know. cool. Oh, okay. So I'm he's just, just scheming. Gotcha. I'm yeah. just chilling. <laughs> I'm cool. Um, is Munster... I'll let them siege Munster down. Oh, wait. Never mind. I had it siege down, and now he doesn't. That was dumb. How are we 
at 27% war score. Oh, <laughs> my subjects has lost enough battles that I have literally taken war score against me. And I haven't do been we, in a single battle. This do we have the ledger turned on? We have limited ledger turned on. Okay. We can see troop numbers. If that's what okay. you're looking for. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was looking for. Certain things you can't see, I think. All right, so what's why is this league war not firing? Come on. Well, you can start it yourself, can't you? And the, the league has to exist first. Oh, well. <laughs> Oh, wait, you, you are an elector, though. Can't you, as an elector, create the league? No, I think it's like a random no, event that just happens. That oh, before, And then okay. you join one side or the other. I always thought for some reason... Oh, no, the is, elector has to declare it, I think. Is it so just like a leader? Chance based the, on the, the, largest, gate, or? the largest person inside the atrium, usually an elector, and I think they have a thing that makes them the leader. Mm hmm Which is, I'm the largest guy in the atrium, plus I'm Protestant and should lead that league war just can't get it to fire i wonder if it's because there's too many protestants like it's already dominant that would make less sense wouldn't it the protestants yeah. want to well, they, change there's the a thing stuff. where if uh, the league war never fires after like 1600 or 1650 or something like that it's automatically catholic it just automatically becomes catholic dominant. Oh, mm -hmm. so there might be a thing where it's automatically protestant dominant i don't know I'm sure somebody in the comments will tell me why the heck it hasn't fired. Probably. Why you no fire? They want me to build a barracks or training field. Okay. Where do you want that barracks or training field? Volgas? That's dumb game. I hate you in your face. Oh, I love comets. Let's go. Good stuff. Oh, nice. I'm devastating your land, boy. God that's, what you, that's what you get. That's what you get. Give me that prestige. Oh, that was that stuff? <laughs> yeah. Nice. I'll be back for revenge one day. Basilius Thomas. Thomas? Yeah, shout out Basilius Thomas. <laughs> nice. Uh... That seems like a very Western culture name to use for in uh, Byzantium. To my understanding, it was like an actual well, most cultural name the used. Names, yeah, most of the names in uh, Western Europe. Yeah, like Europe Tomas from, or something. Yeah, yeah Tomas. From, it's like uh, Jesus' name is actually Joshua. Yeshua, you know, like, yeah. Yeah, it's what we get Joshua from. Yeah. I'm saying with like... Uh, the Virgin Mary's name was Maria, which where you get Mary, Marie, Maria, mm, all these oh names. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Everyone needs to be Protestant because, well, if I'm Protestant, it's the right thing to be. <laughs> because you say so. Yep. I'm a little bit closed minded, you think? A hundred percent. I'm proud of you. all die. Except for I, if you'll be my allies. And then I, you're good. I think I'm going to stick Catholic just so that I have the opportunity to take the uh, Defender if I need the extra morale bump. Nice. But Protestants, uh, I'm really tempted. I'm really tempted. But I Look won't. at this <laughs> Alliance Network Genoa has. Goodness gracious. Yeah, it is I know. crazy. I keep, I keep looking at them like I want to attack them, but they're allied to France, and I don't like it. Yeah, they, and the France. Pope. Yeah, oh, Venice. And Florence. Oh, Florence is an opium. Venice is beefy. Lithuania, Yikes. France, Venice. Yeah, Venice is very beefy. Goodness gracious. Like, Thick Venice. Beefy. I'm past the point where I think I'll ever attack a AI Venice again. I'm like, I have PTSD <laughs> to the yeah. nth degree. That was... I, I love uh, Corbett's video where he used you as an example. Did you watch that? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. I was, I'm like fuming angry in it. Yeah, I mean, molding. <laughs> molding. <laughs> Somebody's got to 
word a day calendar or something. <laughs> <laughs> Give it the thesaurus on your nightstand, or? Yeah, it's right that? here. It's in my hand, actually. Let me just, uh... Uh-oh. Yo, Quag, you want to sell me that, uh, institution? Sure. Oh, I forgot about institution. I've been spending my money instead of saving it. Must be nice to have the option to have it. Money? Oh yeah, those uh, those African and uh, and Caribbean trade nodes will do that to you. Oh, I mean, I'm I'm pretty rich. I just have like. He can pay for it. He just doesn't have the institution. Lands. My rebels are freaking strong. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched your separate. T well, you have low morale too. I wish or I did you just see. upgrade your your military? I was drilling. Oh. I'm not taking the military tech. I'm going to death. Yeah, I think I'm going to... I thought about the military tech to defeat these uh, pretenders, because pretenders are, like, basically copies of my army. Pretender Where's... rebels piss me off. Where's Where are my pretenders rebels going? Particularist piss me off, especially if he did a... Uh... Into Denmark. Particularists just start... Particularists are just annoying, because they literally serve no purpose. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, they're just... And you'll spawn, like, 500k of, of them, like... Yeah, late game... Late game, if I see particulars, I just instantly, like, get tilted. Yeah, or I just hard street with them. Just remove them. Yeah. Should have been 211 military power or whatever it costs. Oh, never mind. Them. No, I wouldn't do that. Two, 211 military power is is four, um, four generals, which means you could do a slack and standards and get the manpower back from fighting them. You know, just fight them. At that point, yeah, I was in the bind of my Moogles run recently, and I actually spent the, the mill power instead of having to deal with it. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. I mean, you gotta be open to those sorts of things if it makes sense. My merchant keeps like coming and going because I'm gaining and losing trade power. Ugh, Byzantine particularists. Ugh, and it's actually just like one province, just one. Particularists. Am I right? Game's going exactly. slow right now. Yeah, it is going quite slow for speed three. I better dev. I'm gonna turn on the edict in West Prussia this time. If I'm Prussia, I think Prussia should be big. Seems reasonable, right? Uh, seems Perhaps. against the rules. Fairly reasonable. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Prussia is so hard to play big. So they, you just can't keep your uh, discipline for long because it just you're... goes away so quick. Well, I mean, mm -hmm. I managed to keep my militarization basically maxed out with modern borders. It's just like... Yeah, not till late game, though. Like, I'm what? way too big for it already. Last time I played Prussia, I did a, a World Conquest, and it just it went away before I could really even use it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Wait, did I move my capital? Oh, I did, yes. Okay. I was like, why am I not gaining it in Moscow? You moved your capital from Moscow? Yeah. St. Petersburg. Petersburg. It's a holy city. It's not a capital city. Ooh. Yeah, uh, St. Petersburg. Third Rome is their. Uh, it's holy a holy city. city. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. St. Petersburg is. Uh, the administrative capital. Third and a half Rome. No, it, <laughs> get out! <laughs> not, it, the Danish third rebels are attacking me. No! <laughs> oh, <laughs> and they're kicking your ass. Land. They're kicking your ass, too. A tragedy. How many thousand men are you going to lose? Oh, you lost 5K! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Feels bad, man. It killed him, though. Feels quite bad, though. I'm actually fine. I have 57,000 manpower. Oh, yeah. I'm running a little low. I only have 192. Well, there, here's another stack of them. 
And they're gonna come through and kill the people that I just uh, made. Yeah, Denmark's gonna. Oh, they already are on a different. So they're gonna have other pretender rebels kick off the guy who was recently yeah, put in as a pretender they, rebel. They had that guy during your war. They swept to him. And they, oh, did they? So they're sieging my lands. Who has yes. access through me? Uh, it's not access. They like to do that. Why are they because sieging they, you? Because they can't get to the islands because they're blocked by Denmark's navy. So they're trying to walk around. And then they got blocked in the strait between Volgast and Kohlberg. So they just stop and see. Who's going to occupy it? It actually even says Danish pretender rebels. Wow. I know. It does That's so me, weird. Besides the occupation of the province. It happens all the time in this area of the world. Danish rebels will walk all they'll walk through you eventually if they can get they'll there. go all the way around the baltic yep yeah because they want to get to lund from like or, or yeah because they or can't something. get to lawland somehow they got to finn i don't know sometimes they just probably where they, i don't know that's true sometimes they do but yeah i just have to wait he's walking back see that he's gonna kill mecklenburg again <laughs> the heck uh, well if he's gonna, you know, I guess I'll kill Mecklenburg. He's gonna siege down the capital for me. Because he'll sit there for a long time and siege that capital. And I'll just wait until he's at like 20% and then I'm not paying attention kill him. to my armies. Mm -hmm. Oh, admin tech. Thank God. Governing capacity. I'm making militarization again. It's a nice feeling. Oh, yeah. So I have like... Make... Wait, what? Oh, it's because it's his capital. Uh, Lubeck. Lubeck. Lubeck, Lubeck. It's time for you to die. Lubeck. All right. I'm finally not like... I'm at fifth place, great power, only because Ming is so far behind in tech. It's Ming is like true number one guys. great power. Yeah. <laughs> wow. 218%. That's that is uh, a fat L. That is wild. They're still huge, too. Yeah. They're still full on Ming. Yep. No Ming explosion this time, I yeah, guess. I've seen a lot less Ming explosion this patch. I actually yep. have as well. I had a game where there was an AI Ching that formed and made a Ming explosion. That was a lot of fun. I, yes, that I've I seen a lot of Ching this this patch awful. too. Yeah, I've seen it before. That, that seems like a vast improvement to me. Ming yeah, should, it should sure happen. Less right. Ching happens basically. Well, I mean, the mission trees from 1.29 are geared towards forming Ching, so the the tribes are much more mindful of that. For some reason, they weren't able to last patch very often. But now they seem able to more often. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be useful to make my navy a galley navy. Because I don't care about trade. And it's just to scare people and then maybe fight you guys in the mid late game. So, galley navy. I really want to invade Genoa, to be honest with you. But it's just never gonna happen. Take on Venice. I don't know if I'm prepared to to do that. I have like no manpower still. Oh, okay, well, but Venice Genoa is much better than Genoa France. That's true. Well, Genoa apparently France is like doing the uh, one point thirty thing where they have no money. Nice. Yeah, yeah dude. You would help me against GB, but he decided to take on loans. In my. In my uh, Albania campaign, I was allied to Russia or Muscovy, and I called was going to call them in against Austria, who had integrated Hungary, so it was a giant Austria, and he was it's five Austria. five thousand ducats in debt, five thousand. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I was playing the Pope, and oh, I just pulled two armies. God dang it. Um, took him out in one war. Like, he had, was all of France, and I, he started to lose subjects from rebels. I went in, and I broke him in half, and then he couldn't fight the rest. And nice. I was a rival, and then no longer a rival again in one war. It's insane, dude. It's, it's easy to break this patch. I just wish I knew what happened. 
It's the it's the subjects, and it has to do with Mercs. You just gotta watch Corbett's video. He, he had I a did. Very good, I synced like, it. I I agree with most of you his. You don't see it there. I it's, synced. It's, it's it's mainly Mercs. Why the, the AI is. I think well, yeah, but that that doesn't update. explain why they like randomly sell their armies like day one. Like, oh yeah, yeah that part's weird. They too. they want to no they want to the force limit needs to be down so that they can leave room for Mercs. One thing oh, I've noticed part, yeah. is if I if I kind of trap an enemy army, they'll start selling off their units like slowly as they retreat mm -hmm. away from stopping stack wipe. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen that in other patches. Yeah, I've seen. I kind of like that. That's how it should be, honestly. Though, if you can't afford the army, like, why death spiral your debt during the war if there's no chance yeah. you're gonna win? It kind of makes sense. They have to not be right next to you. Then they do it during peace too, and it's weird. Uh, the von Hunolstein family wants twenty of my naval tradition. Okay, have fun. I think I have like eleven naval tradition, so. <laughs> Eleven. Yeah. What do I have? Twenty-eight. Not bad. If I transfer, well, I got uh, sixteen. Saxony. Twenty-eight. Saxony boy. dead. Saxony died to Thuring. Never mind. <laughs> Nature right, is uh, overwhelmingly voting for Bohemia. Negative forty-five IA a month. Holy hell! Rip. <laughs> Wow, that is so it's like bad. like everyone's Protestant. Yeah, that is really bad. I've been working hard to flip as many people as I can. That's like some of the lowest score I've ever seen. That is a massive rip. Trying to get just a little bit bigger because I want all Prussian lands. and Prussian adjacent lands and basically anything German and France is basically German, right? Let's go. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Bit of a reach, but you know, I see where you're coming hey, from. the Franks were a Germanic tribe. It's good. Oh, there you go. That's a, <laughs> that's a claim right there. Permanent claims. Like Caesar going into Gaul, you know. Yep. Any claim works, anything. Uh, do we have a cover war? I need a cover war. Oh, I think it's the Ringia. Ooh, I can intervene to aid Great Britain. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one. I, I suppose I could if I was. I could aid. also. I could right now. But, but actually, you? I would say you might want. But am I gonna? Start actually considering it. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, my level three Diplo guy died. Who was half off? Feels bad, man. All right, I probably won't take anything from Thuringia because uh, I just took massive amounts of aggressive expansion. But my borders are smooth, and that's all that matters. Honestly, at the end of the day, I couldn't care less about anything else, so long as things look nice. Look at the amount of wars we're to take. All of Scotland's claims plus London. They want me to convert things to uh, Prussian. But that's a waste of time and money. Yeah, I hate that, yeah. Especially when it's already German. Like, I. <laughs> like, well, there's literally no point once you're an empire. Yeah, like, and uh, even for now, you only get 10, 10%, 15% stuff instead of 33s. You're uh, subject to. Uh, Insulted me. Minded? Yeah. So it gave me a claim on him. Attack him. It's it's <laughs> Destroy him. So I, don't want, I can't <laughs> Kill him. Ungrateful. I literally can't attack him because we're allied. And it's smart enough to realize you may not declare war upon a country whose overlord you have an alliance with. Break the alliance first. Exactly. <laughs> I think I'm going to break with Brunswick and get another subject. Seems like reasonable, right? Yeah, I've been loading on my subjects. Oh my god, Hungary took espionage ideas. Uh, yeah, that's it. uh that's uh Oh, did you know that I could vassalize Monferrato? 
Hmm. That seems like hmm. an overreach. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just do it. Something to trade later. All right. That'll do it for this one, then. Oh, that one went quick. It yeah, did, it, it did, it did. All right, cool. Thanks for hanging out, guys. We'll see you guys in the next episode of The Four Roams. See ya. Peace. A huge special thanks to my top supporters on Patreon, Bloodbound92, Palmer, Jack Thompson, Drunk Binary, Some Kind of Meme, Valentel, Jaron Clampett, Corbett Gaming, Home TV, RJ Pilot, Callus Cassowary, The Bitter Steel, and many more. I appreciate you guys very much. Don't forget to check out the videos linked on the left and the right, and don't forget to subscribe.